Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love and relationship reading for Scorpio from the 13th to the 26th of May 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, uh, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my deck review series as well as my simple energy healing remedies that I have been putting out. You'll find that very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off the general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, it looks like you're in a process of seeking companionship over here. So you're looking for a relationship to come in, um, or companionship really. Maybe you're feeling very, very lonely at this particular moment. There's been unexpected obstacles and delays to any of your plans that you've been making. So maybe you've been trying to pursue a relationship, but things have been getting in the way. Uh, there might be an old relationship that you are thinking of uh, reconciling uh, with. Uh, so you might be, uh, there might be an air of forgiveness. You maybe you're trying to get back together with this particular person because you're feeling lonely and you want companionship. So you're trying to ask for forgiveness if there's something that you did, or you want them to ask for forgiveness, really. Uh, but you're trying to reconcile that relationship. Now, in the past, you may have made some kind of romantic gesture. Maybe things didn't work out and you're having a bit of an anxiety attack over it. So, uh, you know, the advice was don't panic. Now, going to the future, there's some kind of relationship coming in. You're looking for loyalty and devotion. Maybe you're a very loyal and devoted person and you want that relationship to be that way. If you are interested in somebody, you do need to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with this particular person. Maybe in this reconciliation, you do need to speak to this person if you're if you're planning on pursuing that relationship again uh, because and tell them that you're looking for that re uh, loyalty maybe you are very loyal to this person and maybe this is why you're trying to get back together with them uh, you know you might be very very much in love with them but you do need to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat get things off your chest and tell people exactly where you're coming from as well so those are the um, energies for that those two weeks So I'm using the Romantic uh, Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Pentacles over here. So, you know, you are looking for a relationship. You're looking around for somebody who is generous, somebody who is supportive, uh, somebody who, who, you know, um, maybe even fi for financial support, but also somebody who is materially well off uh, and somebody who is very artistic. And this is where you're at at the moment. You are searching for that uh, generous person. Uh, but maybe you're worried that, you know, if you get into a relationship, there's going to be too many strings attached. Um, so there's uh, somebody that you're looking to, um, you know, get together with, but it looks like uh, maybe it's going to be a bit difficult to actually uh, get together with them. There might be a lot of work that you need to put into that relationship to make it actually work. So what's happening with you? Uh, you've got the moon card and it's crossed by the death card. So this is saying that the relationship that you were in uh, was, you know, not very, very honest and open. Uh, there might have been a lot of lies and deception, deceit going on over here. Uh, the person may have been doing a lot of things behind your back. Maybe they had communication with other people behind your back. Uh, but the moon is about, a, you know, people lying to you, um, you know, uh, pretending to be what they weren't. 
and uh, maybe making promises that they couldn't keep. So that was the relationship. It's about you having illusions and, you know, the, you know, thinking that things were one way and they turned out to be something else. And maybe this is the reason why you ended that particular relationship. You put an end to it. It was an abrupt end, but you have laid that to rest and you are now moving forward. You are still mourning the loss of that relationship, though, um, you know, maybe you felt it was a good relationship. Um, so the one, the relationship that you were in, you know, there was that uh, element of soul connection with it. It's, you've got the two of cups, uh, but it seems like both of you were wearing masks. There was, things were not brought out into the open. Uh, you know, even though you were communicating, you were not really speaking to each other very clearly and you were hiding, uh, lots of things were hidden in that relationship. There, so there might have been a lot of lies going on or things happening. And it seems like, you know, it fell apart because you've got the spilt uh, pails of your spilt buckets over here so it all broke down because of the lies and deceit that was going on so y'all did try to build uh, a future together y'all did maybe y'all moved in together maybe y'all settled in with each other but obviously you were not communicating very clearly uh, you know you were not aware of what each other was doing you were living separate lives hiding behind you know you had your own um, agendas really and it seems like that relationship has fallen apart. Maybe you also felt like this particular person was very, very controlling. You can see this man's controlling this woman. And both of you are still wearing masks here. Uh, you know, there was no emotional fulfillment. You didn't get what you wanted out of this particular relationship. And again, this person doing things behind your back that you were not aware of. Uh, both of you were keeping things very, very hidden. And you were not communicating with each other. Not speaking very clearly about, uh, you know, what was going on in your heads. So, uh, you know, both of you hiding behind masks, um, and maybe this is the reason why this relationship has fallen apart. Maybe you had an ideal about what that relationship should be. It was an illusion, and this is the reason why this particular relationship has come to an end. What's on your mind? You're trying to find your balance again. Uh, you know, you're trying to, um, you know, get healing as well. Uh, there may have been people that have been approaching you, make me making offers to you, but it doesn't seem like you're very, very interested at the moment. Still wearing the veil, still hiding your feelings, uh, and not, re you know, maybe you're crying a lot about the relationship, but you're not actually revealing that to anybody else. You're focusing more on your work, it seems, uh, distracting yourself with your work. Now, it looks like there might be a new uh, relationship coming in. It is a very sexual relationship. You've got this ace of rods over here, so the beginnings of something brand new coming your way. Um, it might be a little bit of a long term, but it might end up becoming something long term. You've got the different seasons over here. So this might be something, uh, you know, that is going to be long term that comes in. It looks like it's going to be something that comes in, you know, at the end of the spring and the beginning of the summer. Uh, with the way the rod is sitting over here. So it looks like there might be something brand new beginning for you. For the moment, you are focusing on your work and your career. Uh, there might be somebody in the background over there that has interest in you, uh, but you haven't noticed them yet. You're still very, very much focused on your work. You've got a lot of goats over here that signify Saturn, that signify work. And, uh, you know, with the Four of Pentacles, it's about accumulating wealth and trying to establish yourself in your career, it seems. So what's going on around you, you might actually be, you know, uh, trying to socialize a lot more and, uh, you know, maybe you have different uh, relationships uh, uh, with people or you're visiting a lot of different people or, you know, you're making friends with a lot of different people going out a lot more right now. So what you're afraid of, you're afraid of things falling apart if you get into a relationship. This is the Tower card. So you are afraid that, uh, you know, uh, whatever relationship you have might not be a stable relationship and might end up falling apart or breaking down. So you are worried about that. So going into the future, you've got the Three of, Heart, uh, three of Swords over here, the Seven of Swords and the Three of uh, Pentacles over here. So, uh, you know, with this Three of um so it's getting over our previous heartbreak. So you are still very, very upset about what happened. That relationship ended. Uh, you know, it's something that you can't revive. There was a lot of bitterness and, uh, you know, arguments that went on within that relationship. There was also a lot of lies and deceit and it's left you feeling very, very lonely, very, very isolated. You've got two swords cards over here. So there were a lot of nasty words exchanged, a lot of vindictive behavior, a lot of cattish behavior. Um, 
uh, a lot of lies and deception going on and you've isolated yourself from that particular person uh, you've broke off communication with them you can see this person's uh, this ice uh, sculpture standing alone there's a lot of swords pointing at it so there you know it seems like even if when you speak to that particular person there's a lot of nastiness that goes on and it seems like you've cut yourself off from them completely it looks like they may have stabbed you in the back there may have been a third party situation that was involved um, and because of that you're protecting yourself so you've isolated you, yourself from them and you're focusing more on your work and doing things uh, on on the work front on your career there's still people around you that admire you so you do have it secret admirers or people admiring you um, this could these could be friends but this could also be you know people that are interested in you but it seems like your focus is basically on your work and uh, advancing your career at this particular moment but it looks like there is a new relationship coming in and it's more of a sexual relationship um, and it looks like maybe you know you'll start something brand new uh, in that way there doesn't look like there's a committed relationship at the moment but there's definitely somebody that's interested there's somebody that's waiting in the you might meet this person on the work front um, and it might end up becoming something sexual so this is the uh, Archangel Power Tarot for the Oracle read. You've got the King of Michael. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So there could be some kind of legal de um, um, situation that you're going through, a legal decision pending. Maybe you went through a divorce and um, this is the legal situation pending. You're waiting for some kind of uh, legal news to come in or a decision to be made. Then it seems like as soon as that is made, you've got the chariot card over here, determination and self-control, career advancement and acknowledgement of success by others. It looks like you're going to walk away from this particular situation. You're moving away pretty quickly. You might even move home, uh, taking control of your life again. Um, and you're very determined to do that, to get a success. And you're, it seems like you're determined to focus on your career rather than any kind of relationship you got the five of gabriel over here so a challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others have patience with yourself and those around you so you're still dealing with very toxic people around you or even that situation that you're in is very toxic there's still a bit of power struggle going on within that relationship you're trying to strategize you can see this woman's playing chess over here so you're trying to come up with a plan and to strategize how you can get through this particular situation. So this person that you're dealing with might be still very, very difficult, stirring up a lot, a lot of problems for you, causing a lot of drama for you. You need to walk away from that drama and move on uh, with your life uh, with this chariot card. Uh, move forward and it looks like you know once you move forward and break free of that something brand new is started and it looks like you know you are there you've got the death card over here this is your card getting your independence and moving forward into a, a new uh, future over there the new sunrise over there so starting something brand new pursuing uh, you know maybe your career at the, this particular moment uh, it looks like there might be something sexual coming in some kind of uh, attractive um, uh, passionate relationship coming in rather uh, and it looks like you will be socializing a lot more in the future so i hope that this reading has resonated with you uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye